So today we're going to talk about how we're uh, going to protect the underbelly of this uh, gladiator. We've had a few challenges on the trail. Everybody knows the gladiator's got uh, a pretty bad breakover angle, and we've tackled some pretty decent sized rocks, and you tend to scrape a lot. We bent the catalytic converter, and uh, we wanted to make sure we did what we could to protect it. Uh, we also had some issues with the uh, back end kind of sagging down toward that rear tire pretty badly due to some of the weight we put on it with the rack and the rear tire carrier and bumper and all those good things. Uh, so we, we actually upgraded the, the springs, put a spacer in, and we also changed the gearing out from uh, the 410s to 488s, uh, primarily just for the gas mileage, but uh, we're not really going to talk about that too much in this video. But during the installation process for all that stuff, uh, I had that done at uh, Bull Run 4-Wheel Drive, and they did a great job on the install. Uh, I elected to have them do it. It's a fairly challenging install. I did originally intend to have the aluminum skid plate put in due to the weight, because weight's one of the challenges that I'm having. Uh, the steel is 80 pounds heavier, but unfortunately there was a little miscommunication and they wound up uh, installing the steel, which at this point I'm just going to deal with the extra 80 pounds. I'll just have to be careful about uh, all, all the other stuff that I was going to install on it. But uh, we're not going to talk about the install because I didn't do it, but we're going to talk about what it looked like before. I'll show you that, and then uh, I'll show you what it looks like now. Uh, so let's get on with it. So we're going to be doing some upgrades on the Jeep here, and I wanted to show the before. So this is the undercarriage of the Jeep. Uh, one of the problems with the Jeep uh, Gladiator, in my opinion, is the uh, skid plates aren't all that great. So you see these cross members, they're hollow. They cruise across, and there's just a couple little pieces of skid plating. All right, there is a skid over the gas tank there, but uh, basically pretty minimal. And these are not very tough, as you can see on one of our very first outings, we actually bent this one. And then this catalytic converter here has got a little ding in it already, and obviously you got to be careful about that because it can create some serious issues there. So that's what the underside currently looks like. And then I'll show you what it looks like after the, uh, after the upgrades. So we got the vehicle back from the four-wheel drive shop. I elected to have them do all this work. Um, we got the new metal cloak skids on the diff with the new diff covers. And uh, we got the full rock hard underbelly skid. It's actually supposed to be aluminum. It looks like there was some miscommunication and I wound up getting steel. But aside from adding some weight and having to get under here and make sure that I paint any of the scratches, make sure it doesn't rust, it's pretty cool. But in a previous video, I showed, you know, right here was my catalytic converter and it had gotten all dinged up. And you can see. This is super heavy duty, is super great coverage. And you see the, the diff skid on the backside. And then they did the diff cover here. So generally it looks really good. The other stuff that I had them do while they had it in the shop was, well actually the primary reason I had it at the shop is because I wanted to upgrade to 488 gears. And uh, I was having some problems. I mentioned in the previous walk around video that the Jeep was sagging in the back and I was going to have to do something about it. So we came up with a solution. They actually put an Evo four and a half inch plush ride spring plus a two inch or one. I think it's actually a one and a half. They said two, but it's, I think it's a one and a half inch TerraFlex spacer to bring it up. And if you notice the marks on the on the shock there you know we probably got an extra uh two and a half to three inches of of lift here so now i've got plenty of room back again which not only improves my um my ability to to have that tire come up into the fender but it drastically improves the uh little bit the, the breakover angle i'm sure was affected but mostly the departure angle so and of course with the new 
bumper on the back um, well protected too I've got the, the new rigid lights in the bumper I've got to work on the wiring for those but um, yeah, you can see once again the the shocks show where they used to sit so in, in all in I'm, I'm pretty happy with this this is gonna this is gonna help me out a lot uh, it, it, it certainly looks better because now it's not see it's not all squatted down in the in the rear end it actually it sits up just a tad so when I load this thing down or I put a trailer on it or anything like that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get that scrunched look and that if that does affect the handling I was really concerned about it and that's the reason that we went with the uh, four and a half inch springs with the spacer because if I just had tried to do spacing to get it up there the existing metal cloak three and a half were already compressed and it really limits the um, the ability for the shocks to or for the springs to do their job it's going to affect ride quality and everything else so i'm really happy overall with this decision so again little underbelly skid nice so that was the before and after look of the underbelly skid install the reason i chose the rock hard kit in the first place was because they took out those cheesy cross members that jeep had and they replaced them with big solid steel cross members uh the installer said those things weighed about 30 pounds they're super heavy duty and i thought that really added value to this to this kit uh based on my experience i just really didn't trust the cross members that were there in the first place so I, I'm pretty happy with the kit overall. It looks pretty good. I put about 100 miles on it so far. Seems to be uh, driving well with all the upgrades, the additional weight and everything else. So I think we're good. The diff skids are fantastic. I love Metal Cloak anyways, real high quality stuff. So, you know, I'm, I'm really pleased with uh, this kit. I talked a little bit about the, uh, the springs and the spacers and the gears, and I'll probably go in that later on down the road but uh that was a good run for it if anybody's got questions about any of the stuff that i talked about today you know please feel free to reach out i'll try to answer any questions that you have but uh hey thanks for watching if uh if you like the video go ahead and give me a thumbs up and if you want to see future content uh go ahead and subscribe thank you for watching